Well, thank you for joining me today as we start this new week and we start a new year. And I'm glad that you're with me and I hope that you'll be with me all week and all week and, and not only that, but all year if you can. And so as we start this week, I want to talk to you about the yielded life. Now, what does it mean, the yielded life? Well, to yield means that we give in, we give over, we give the right of way uh, to something or someone. And in our uh, study this week of Thoughts from the Throne, we're talking about the yielded life as a Christian. And we'll be asking the question, who or what do we yield to, or who or what do we not yield to? And we'll be talking about various scriptures. Today I want to bring your attention to 2 Chronicles chapter 30, verse 8 and 9. The writer here said, yield yourselves unto the Lord. If we're going to yield to anybody, if we're going to give in to anybody, if we're going to give over, if we're going to give right of way to anyone in our life, certainly it should be the Lord. And the writer says, if we will yield ourselves to God, that we can expect wonderful things to happen. One of the things that we can expect to happen when we yield to God is that he promises us in verse 9 that he will turn those people who bring hindrance in our life into some of our very best friends. He will take the people that, that hinder us and keep us from being a success and they in turn will become ones who will assist us in accomplishing our goals. I want you to think about that as we start our study this week. As we yield to God, God will use the very thing that has hindered us from being a success, from being prosperous. Maybe last year, but this year, those things are going to turn around because we're yielded to God. And the people who have hindered are going to become our allies. They will assist us and we will succeed this year. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow.